Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another 4K action figure review on two separate figures. We are looking at the Diamond Select Toys Disney Store exclusive Darth Maul and Boba Fett Star Wars action figures. If you're trying to pick these up, you can do so. What? Well, I said they're Disney Store exclusive, but if you're trying to get your other Star Wars figures, you can do so. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you. Link below. And while you're down there, I ask you to show some love to the channel by hitting that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell if you are new here. We need the 600,000 subscribers. Got a big time giveaway coming up. Anyway, uh, the packaging over here, you can see very large uh, classic select style packaging. You can see images on the side of the boxes right over here. On the back, you can see images from the films that they appeared in. Uh, not a whole lot going on over there. And on the side and top, not a whole lot more. And then not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack these figures open. <laughs> And here are the figures out of the packaging. Kind of a funny combo right over here. I mean, they're sold separately and everything, but you know, as of right now, these are the only two Star Wars figures we have from Diamond Select Toys, aside from being Star Wars characters. And the fact that I actually met both of these characters, I, I met a Boba Fett, and I did meet the Ray Park uh, once and then saw him at the unboxing toy convention. I didn't get to talk to him there, but you know, he gave a big head nod uh, to me for the Mohawk, he dug it. Anyway, looking at the accessories right over here, uh, Boba Fett came with a pair of relaxed hands. He also has his rifle holding hands right here. Then you get this flame effect and of course the, the sawed off shotgun blaster rifle. And then we get these interchangeable, I'm calling this by the wrong name, I'm sorry. Uh, and then we get the fisted hands. He has lightsaber hands on him already and then the wide open hands. And then you get all these lightsaber effects right over here for Darth Maul, which I actually think came out looking really good, especially in that 4K. Make sure you have it on 4K. But yeah, I like that translucent red plastic. Of course, you could take this apart right in the middle. Uh, it doesn't have a specific shape that it has to go to, so I really like that a lot. And I forgot to show off this accessory right here, so you get a little bit of Qui-Gon Jinn lightsaber effects that you can just port through on this lightsaber from Darth Maul, and it doesn't look too bad. You can see some air bubbles stuck in there, which I don't like. I think this is a pretty cool concept. A little bit weird without having another, uh, you know, having a Jedi fighting him and stuff, but I think it is cool that they included this. Looks kind of neat, no? And then, of course, you could take these out, and I recommend heating them up. Oh, man, that one's kind of stiff in there. Jeez. But here, this side right here, it's a lot easier to remove. I did snap a little bit of plastic right there. As I push in, you could see it split just a little right there, which is actually kind of working out for me just at this moment because it makes it easier for me to go ahead and show this off right over here. However, uh, yeah, it's kind of stuff, ugh, especially if it's cold, you may want to heat this up and then yank it out right there. So I prefer not to have that little break right there, but as far as breaks go, it's not really the worst. I do wish that they had a little bit of the red fading out to just translucent or maybe like a pink color, you know? So having it just all red like this, even though it is all translucent, I wish it had a little bit of a fade. Uh, you can see this side right over here. So that's cool. You get those effects. Uh, the hands all look really good. I like how they have this nice wrinkled uh, texture to them and everything so that they look like they're, you know, real gloves. And then Boba Fett has this nice flame effect right here looking really badass. I love the way it's sculpted. Great translucent yellow to the translucent orange over here. Really like it a lot. Now, there's no directions or anything with these figures. I just assume that the way you're supposed to put this on the figure is just like the flame effect actually ports in right over here. You want to take this little piece out and then go ahead and port it in like that. Then getting into the gun or the rifle. I keep wanting to call it a sawed off sh shotgun because I remember Luke Skywalker uh, cutting it. But it's you know the sawed off blaster i do like the paint detail and everything i feel like this should have more brown paint on it though I, I don't know but i do like it it looks nice having this effect right over here so that's really cool and you can remove this and this also has a nice fade i like how it goes from like the orange more to the reddish orange to yellow back to reddish orange again and yellow again so that's really neat i like this <laughs> Now, I assume this is the Empire Strikes Back version. I can't tell you for sure. I don't know. I bet Robo do know, but I do not know. So, But I do think it's the Empire Strikes Back version. The helmet does look a little bit large in proportion to the rest of the body to the point where it made me feel like I could possibly lift this up and there would be uh, an unhelmeted Boba Fett underneath. It's just wishful thinking, right? But I love the detail. The wash looks great right here. The silver paint applications look really good. Really loving these paint apps. I think that is great. Uh, this whole piece right here, we'll move down so I like that that's cool 
Then here's a look at the rock. Here's looking at the rocket launcher. It looks great with this nice paint wash and all the silver bits. I just don't like how you cannot remove these jet effects right over here. You could rotate them. I mean, eventually you could heat it up and snap it off, but you could see that there's a silver piece sticking out from underneath there. So if you do have that happen, you're going to have those pieces sticking out. And yeah, that's going to look weird. Still kind of looks weird with them just there all the time. But the armor plating right here looks really awesome. I do like that. Nice detail sculpt and everything so it does look very good there's your mandalorian symbol and there all the gizmo stuff going on on the gauntlet right over here with the buttons and everything and the grapple and stuff so really liking that that is very very cool that is my daughter crying in the background and the wookie hair or these wookie dreads right here is i can't <laughs> i always forget that belt looks all right you know kind of sticks out a little bit more than i remember and then there's the pants and then you get some nice wear i mean i just really like all the paint detail on this it's very very good looking and i like the sculpt too so not too bad man oh yeah <laughs> And then I did want to take a look at the back over here because I didn't realize that, uh, yeah, Boba was thonging it up over here. That looks full on thong right there. So, hey, there you go, Boba Fett. If that's comfortable for you, man, hey. Okay, so while, yeah, while I was reviewing this, I didn't realize this piece came out while I was showing off the figure. So, yeah, that's supposed to stay in there. And as I mentioned earlier, you're supposed to take that out and plug in the flame effect. And here's looking at the Darth Maul figure. And did I pre order that new comic version of Darth Maul? Oh, yeah, I definitely did. Now this looks dope, I really like the paint apps and everything that I'm seeing right here. I just really feel like there's something missing with the teeth where they should be more dirty, I don't know, they should look more jacked up. And I feel like the likeness isn't spot on, but I really do like the paint apps, I do think they look very clean. So I am happy with that. Nice clean paint apps right over here, vibrant red and the nice rich black color looks solid throughout. And I do like how the horns look and everything. And as far as paint apps go, you're not going to see a whole lot of paint apps going throughout on the figure, you know what I mean? It's more of you know really good sculpted work right over here than anything so i really do dig that part of it you know and there's parts of it where you get some glossy black and some more matted black right over here so yeah i think that's cool i like how it changes up i mean it's the design of the character right so that's pretty neat i like this sculpt nice wrinkles and everything over there so boots look really good nice and glossy and everything and the skirt piece is made out of a soft enough pliable material where you can move things around i'll go over the articulation in a second i just wanted to get a nice good healthy look at the figure right here and of course still has peg holes at the bottom of the feet the articulation is pretty much the same on both of these figures neither of them could look up that much uh, darth maul only looks up that far however boba fett will look up a little bit more so and down that much and maul will look down that much you get side to side motion head pivoting shoulders will move outward and they will move in and rotate a full 360 single jointed elbow rotation at the elbows all the hands turn side to side and hinge up and down i believe yeah same thing with the gun holding hands for boba fett right over here now you do get the diaphragm joint a little bit of diaphragm pivot they move forward and back some right over there with the crunching uh no straight up oh wait there is a waist joint in here too <laughs> is there a waist joint on this one also let's double check yeah the hips move outward that much you'll kick forward and back you get an upper thigh cut it's hard to see but you get the double jointed knees right over here that bend in very far and then the boots will have an ankle that can move down up and beautiful ankle pivot very similar articulation right over here with the boba fed it's like pretty much the same thing so no difference and the ankles do move up even though it's a little bit tricky but yeah ankle pivots working great Damn it! it's also worth mentioning that Boba Fett actually has a bicep cut right here and that's helping so that you can get this ported in properly with this little wire on the side. So you can get that reconnected as may, some of you may have complained uh, without me reading the comment yet. But yeah, now you can get that ported in place if that's going to bother you. It doesn't really bother me much that it gets disconnected, but I'm glad that they added that bonus piece of articulation just so you can get this looking smoothly. Now to measure out these figures, you can see that Boba Fett and Darth Maul are standing close to around the same height, just a bit over the 7 inch mark. To bring in some size comparisons, I have the Black Series Darth Maul, as well as the SDCC exclusive Boba Fett. And yeah, it looks like Boba Fett is, oh, <laughs> with the Black Series, Boba Fett's a little bit taller, uh, but with the Select right over here, it looks like Darth Maul is a little bit taller. I do like the proportions on this one just a little bit more. The helmet does seem a little bit on the large side to me. And then, of course, here they are next to the big time deadass Spider-Man. So I do like these figures, man. Um, I have my complaints and everything, but I don't know what it is. I, I just really like this Boba Fett figure a lot. I, I like the Darth Maul, too, having the interchangeable parts and everything is dope and i do have my gripes you know of course with the boba fett 
also but really i do think that they are both very cool figures i just want to know where diamond is going with this you know what i mean like are they going to release more of them like are we going to get more characters is this going to be another potential star wars collection display for the seven inch scale yeah just so i can get an idea of where things are going you know what i mean like what if you just wanted to get one of these like which one would you pick right like are we going to get more characters i'll fit along with darth maul or will we get more characters i'll fit along with boba fett we don't really know but if i had to just pick one of them i i gotta say i do like the boba fett just a little bit more and i think it's a character that could stand on its own a little bit more like the darth maul as badass as he is and i do like the darth maul a lot i i feel like i would still need an, an obi-wan kenobi or a qui-gon to go along with it but anyway i want to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comment section below thank you guys so much for for watching if you liked the video hit that like button hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell big thanks again to diamond for making this review possible if you want to stay in touch with me on social media check me out over on instagram twitter twitch and tiktok and i will have a video on the snyder cut justice league movie coming up later today i still have about an hour left to watch of that four hour epic why is this so long all right i'll catch you guys later peace <laughs> Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.